before I let you go, um, you are all over the pro day circuit. You're all over the field for the combine. You hear way more than you report because mm-hmm. you are a lead pipe wielding professional. Who do you believe <laughs> the Carolina Panthers have traded all the way up to one to go get Stacey Dales? Yeah, I think CJ Stroud, Rich. I mean, I, I was at Will Levis's pro day. I saw the way they interacted with him. And there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of showmanship and smoke and mirrors at this time of year, as you know. Let's mm-hmm. not be naive to that. But um, I think the Carolina Panthers to send really for every quarterback, a Bryce Young included, um, Anthony Richardson, Levis and Stroud, and let's not forget Hendon Hooker, right? Right. Um to send, you know, an entire onslaught of, we're talking like 10 high-ranking officials, coaches, staff members to every one of these days. They know these guys inside and out. I just think Stroud brings the size maybe they're looking for in addition to the pocket presence. If I I'm no Frank Reich well, the head coach, uh, in studying him over the years, based upon the reaction I saw at, the, at CJ Stroud's pro day, uh, I think it was pretty magnetic. But Listen, we'll see. You know, Bryce Young doesn't have a lot of error-type things in plays in college. And, you know, it's it's interesting to talk to people and, and have them say, like, scouts around the league when I'm at these pro days, you know, Bryce Young's workout was solid. C.J. Stroud's workout was solid. Um, very mistake-free. But you're getting that. Didn't have a lot of batted balls, and that's another thing from the college game that I didn't hear a lot about mm. Bryce Young, right? Despite the size concerns and the criticisms, um, my dogs are going crazy. Here, I right? love it. I love it, Stacy. Yeah. You know, you're 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 a, you're a dog. You you might love dogs more than everything else on planet Earth. I understand that about you as well. Yeah. So, uh, give me your favorite Anthony Richardson story that you've picked up over the last few weeks, because uh, he could be he could be that number one in in that nobody sees coming. You know? Yeah. Besides the athleticism, the prowess, the physical specimen he is, I mean, he's a, he looks like a linebacker. I would just say the person he is, getting to talk to him individually, one-on-one, Rich, he is an absolute delight. Uh, the fact that he raised his younger brother, basically, with his mom, and, you know, they bounced around and didn't have money, and, and his story, as he told me about his childhood, uh and then to become the man he is and, and really be not just a brother, but almost a father figure to his younger brother, who I believe is seven years younger. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's kind of stuff that when you're standing with somebody, you get tears in your eyes, and then you know what a team is getting in the NFL. I, I, I cannot wait to see where he gets drafted because they're getting a great one. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 